So what have we got here? We have Zoe, and she says, stop the LGBT community. Or what, Zoe? What are you gonna do, you little fat muffin? Well, you're not really fat. <laughs> Doesn't really make any- what are you gonna do? I mean, I can just see the reasoning now as to why Zoe would like to be on this one-man army mission to stop the LGBT community. Zoe, you are on the line. Why do you want to stop the LGBT community? Because they are gay. Thanks, Zoe. You are as stupid as I thought you would be. Okay, we're gonna read this exactly how they've spelt it out. I don't have depression, okay? I just did that for fun. Wow, I cannot think of anything more fun than pretending to have depression. I can see it now. Everyone's just hanging around, chilling out, bored, you know, and then someone just comes up with a great idea. Hey, Let's pretend to have depression. Then they never see each other again because they don't want to leave the house because it's hard. What a fun time. Okay, today we're looking at Gacha Cringe. My brain cells left planet Earth a long time ago, but Gacha Cringe has sort of died down. <laughs> it's, not, it's not as bad as it used to be, right? Is Gacha Heat really the most of our worries? What about world hunger? Round of applause for the great comparison there. Gacha Heat is as bad as world hunger. And what do you mean as well is Gacha Heat the most of our worries? I'm not sat here eating tables and spaghetti thinking about how bad Gacha Heat is. It's just really weird that kids draw it. Also, just a quick one, guys. Please do not harass anyone in the Gacha community if they generally enjoy it. I'm only laughing at the weird, cringy ones. What's your sexuality and what's your favorite sexuality? I'm straight and my favorite sexuality is gay. They're so cute. Do you know when you read something out loud and you just kind of zone out because what you read or heard is so stupid, it melts your brain? I've just experienced that reading this. I mean, honestly, I don't know how I would feel if I said to someone that I'm gay and they just responded with, oh, that's my favorite. It's so cute. <laughs> like, hey, this guy is my favorite part of the LGBTQ. Up high, my brother. That would probably be up there in the top 10 cringiest things I could ever witness. Old friends for a mad cause I'm up now. Let me show you how a real nigga get down. Go ahead, get down with it. Wow, that is so hot. I am sweating. But no, the real funny part is the comment for this. Wow, so cute. My son loved this. Really fairy eye sash. Did, she re did he really love this content? I mean, the thing is, obviously, this type of content doesn't do anything for me for obvious reasons. But people are really getting quite heated in the comments. People are falling in love with the one getting the pizza. Nah, I'm simping for the pizza guy. Really? Bear in mind, these are clearly like kids commenting it. Like, I'ma let him for the pizza and not let him go. So you're just walking to kidnap the pizza guy? I'll be eating something. I don't like pizza. What the hell? Like, what is this, this man? And then someone just commented, you're real for that. What the fuck? What does that even mean? And believe it or not, guys, these are emojis at the bottom that apparently I could put. I have never used these emojis. Well, at least I haven't for God knows how long. Believe it or not, I'm not there of a flustered face being like, oh, God damn, that pizza guy. Oh, he's so hot. What, you, what even is this search? Pizza guy's giant pizza. Man, these gacha kids are really into some content. So here we have a child named Elle, and she says, I kill my dad because he was gay. Yeah, just imagine going your entire life possibly being in the closet. You finally have a kid, you settle down, and then your kid kills you because they find out you're gay. Hey, yo, when the hell is season two of this drama coming out. I want to see her say I killed my mom because she got with a gay. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with being gay. I just want to see part two. If someone says shut up, say... I ran out of toilet paper and had to use my pet hamster. Wow, truly inspiring content. Hey guys, welcome to Bully Lessons 101. Well, it's actually anti-bullying. We're not bullying people. But if you ever, if someone ever talks bad about your shirt, just tell them you ran out of toilet paper and you had to use your pet hamster. Thank you, super smexy girl. I don't know who cut your hair or whatever, but it looks like you got it cut in a zoo. You're a caca. What a great name. I don't know if this is a foreign language or they're just speaking like idiots, but I don't know what a poor ham turd is. And no, I'm not going to Google it. It. Thanks very much guys for the suggestion. But this next video honestly is peak gacha cringe kids storytelling. Oh boy.
Oh no, the devil woman's kid stole the village's pie. What an absolute evil child. However, are they going to teach this kid to not steal the village's pie? Okay, so the kid stole a pie, so the punishment is he's gonna get shot in the face. Their logic of storytelling is, oh no, there's a really scary demon lady over there, her kid stole a pie. Yeah, let's, let's just shoot the kid in the face. I mean, what, what even is this? You know, whoever made this thought they did a good job. Like, they sat there and looked at this and thought, yes, this is a good story. I can just imagine the parents now at the counselors meeting. So, uh, uh, why did you bring your kid in today? He's been doing some, uh, you know, alarming stories I'm concerned about. Well, kids do have an active imagination. I mean, how bad is it? Well, he made a story where a kid stole a pie, so they shot him in the face. Then the mom turned into a demon. I have max level depression. I mean, what is this? Like a Call of Duty prestige system or something? There's ranks to this now? I mean, what am I at? I must be at like a level 5 rank or something. Hey, Ben, how depressed are you? Oh, I don't know, buddy. I think I'm about to rank up to level 6 depression. Hell yeah. I know a lot of gacha kids like to think that this type of content is super relatable, but believe me, not many people are screeching like a pig when they're on their own. Like, I know a lot of people when they're at home and they're just chilling out, they look like absolute garbage, and when they go out, they obviously put in a little bit of effort. But believe me, kids, kids who make this type of content, we're not at home, us normal people aren't at home, screeching like a pig. Class, how do you spell cute? Oh, my legs, but you see you Maybe I'm just old and I don't get this, but I don't understand how. What the, what does that even mean? A L H A I T H A M. What? How do you come up with that with cute? And then I don't really understand what this monstrosity was at the end. I don't know if Machine Gun Kelly inspired this image. But, I mean, bro, what what even is that? Like, my head actually hurts trying to understand what. What even was this? The World War II leaders react to how to basic. <laughs> how does this have 509,000 views? <laughs> I'm stealing it. I'm going to steal it right now and put it in my video. I mean, who even makes content like this anymore? Posting a video of them winning a Fortnite Victory Royale. I mean, wow. I remember my first beer. I mean, I just want to acknowledge how happy I am that the internet wasn't around like how it is today when I was a kid. Because I'm so happy that there isn't content out there of me screaming like a maniac for internet clout, I guess. Can I touch your ears? No. I have no idea what that even was, but it's sunny outside, and I'm gonna go outside and actually touch some grass. So that's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe, as it really helps me out. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and consider subscribing to the Game of Virgin Army. I will see you all next time. I swear to God, he's gonna trick